Hey guys! One of the most long-awaited video effects available in the new version is the lens flare effect. Say, if you didn't have the proper light during the video shoot, this is a perfect way to fix that and set the right atmosphere. Lens flares can significantly improve the quality of the image, and if you want to achieve a cinematic look, this is one of the main components you'll need. Most Hollywood movies are shot with anamorphic camera lenses that produce exactly this type of flares when the sunlight hits them. However, such equipment is not cheap for beginner filmmakers, so thankfully you can replicate this effect during post-production. Now let's see how it's done, at zero cost, with VSDC. Create a project and import your footage. Then apply the lens flare effect from the video effects menu. See the flare? Now grab this little cross in the center and drag the effect to the desired location. Let's take a look at the settings. We'll start with the polar coordinates. This group of parameters helps you set the movement of the sun or the light source according to the polar coordinate system. Use the angle to change the angle of the light source and the distance to shift the light source from the center of the scene. If you deactivate polar coordinates, you'll be able to control the light source positions using the X and Y axis. So, the effect has two levels of settings. First, you can set the light source parameters and then you can adjust the lens flare effect. For the light source, you can tweak the position, the light source offset, the density of light rays, their strength and the size of the light source. For the flare effect, there are even more parameters available. For instance, you can change the flare intensity, the light source power, the noise level and the dynamic noise pattern, the visible area, that is essentially the visibility of the original footage, and the flare color tones. Go ahead and play with the settings to achieve the desired look for your movie. If you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Got any questions or ideas for our next video? Leave us a comment below.